today's video is for a lot of you guys who love SDR radio, but are having just a hell of a time trying to get your drivers working. I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as I can, although it needs a little bit of explanation. Um, so uh, bear with me. It's not a, I didn't spend a whole lot of time setting up this video ahead of time, but I do believe I can get you working uh, with some answers that you're not finding anywhere else. Um, so first of all, guys, the, the, this is what you're, the problem you're having is that your installs failing. And the way this works is, um, you're supposed to download, uh, a software program that has a program called Zadig in there, which is basically a USB driver installer. Okay. And it's failing many times. In fact, most times mine did many, many times. You've seen this screen where you're, you've select, you know, you're selecting which driver. Uh, but this is what you're looking for. I know this is the holy grail right here, right? So what I'm going to show you, the way I like to do this, uh, is actually pretty slick. Um, and I think you'll have good luck with this if you, if you do it this way. All right. So let's start here. Let me get over to the right screen. All right, so here's what here's what many of you have seen. Go to airspy.com, right? And many of you are downloading um, the SDR radio package, which is what you would think you'd want to do. Well, uh, the best thing to do is go down here and scroll in here to SDR community with plugins. That's the version I've always had the most luck with. Not only that, but it comes with a bunch of free, cool add-ons like a frequency scanner and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can actually scan the entire airband military or the military airband channel in about nine seconds. It's awesome. So this is the version you want right here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right there. Okay, SDR with community plugins. It also comes with the Zadig package and the batch installer. Many of you have already probably been through this. And by the way, I'm not giving you complete instructions here. This is a troubleshoot video. So if you're having trouble, please go back and watch the normal way to do it first and then use what I'm telling you so I don't have to explain all of it because I'm not going to do that here. I mean, I'm just kind of giving you troubleshooting. So many of you have already been through this and seen failure, which sucks. Um, but this is the one I like SDR with community plugins. I found it to be a better version. Um, and then also what I want you to do is, uh, there are other versions of Zadig. Some people have had better, ver uh, better luck with 2.5, 2.4, 2.3, but try this one first. And then if it doesn't work, I'm going to show you where to get the other ones in a minute. It's all free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, AirSpy is kind of like uh, what I like to call uh, the OBS of, <laughs> of the SDR radio world. This is it. And it's a really, really fun program, guys. Once you do get it working, you're going to have an absolute blast with this. You can see these are some of the uh, frequencies I have, like Giant Killer already stored in here. Um, really awesome. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about yet because you need to get yours working. So here's what I, here's what I do um, want you all to do. Um, so why does the driver not install? Well, most of the time it's very simple. It is because uh, Windows does not like that driver. It's unsigned. Um, you have to put a new USB driver for your dongle okay so um i use the new elec dongle it's n-o-o-e-l-e-c i think but you can get whichever one you want they're all pretty much the same um and but some of them are friendlier than others um so after you've used the community plugins you know you're going to do the batch file by the way you do have to have dotnet 5.0 installed okay um this will prompt you for that this is already that's already built in there okay so you do need .NET 5.0. Uh, that's a requirement. Uh, you'll need to run the little batch file, as you know, that comes with it. And that unpacks the Zadig and the DLLs that get ready. Okay. Uh, so do all that as normal. Those are in the normal instructions. Nothing I'm telling you here yet that's crazy. Um, now, one, one piece of advice, okay, that I would suggest. Back over to the slideshow here run make sure that you run zadig right click on it and run as administrator all right that's key you got to do that 
Try that and it may solve your problem right off the bat. Remember, you're looking to install on interface zero and make damn sure that you do interface zero, okay? Um, also, set a restore point before you do any of this in case you screw up. Set a restore point, do it right now. Uh, okay, and then after this, what you're gonna do is run as administrator and uh, try it, see what happens, okay? If you get this, you're home free, man. You're good. Reboot, go for it. Um, if you get this again, then you're gonna have to get rough. Basically what's happening is your computer is flipping the bird to that driver. So what I want you to do is come over to your browser, okay? Now, Windows Safe Mode uh, is a reboot action. So all you do is go down to where you're gonna reboot your machine, all right? And while you're rebooting, hit escape. I think it's escape. I'll put it, I'll put it below, but I think it's either escape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's escape. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. It's shift. Hold down shift and click reboot. Okay. Hold down shift and click reboot. It's not delete. It's shift. Shift, reboot. Make sure you're holding that down. Now you're going to get this uh, when it comes up. You're going to get this window. Okay. Uh, the one in the top right up here. Let me, uh, oops, sorry. Let me go ahead and manipulate this to where you can see it nice and big here because I want you guys to see this. This is the window that you're going to get right over my shoulder here. Okay. Now, once you get that window, you're going to click on troubleshoot. Okay. Troubleshoot. And then you may get something more like, uh, like this one. Sorry, guys. I'm doing this literally on the fly. Dang it. Okay, right here, you're going to get something that says, um, yeah, right here above my shoulder. Again, advanced options. And you want startup settings. That's where you're going. You're going for startup settings, okay? And then once you get startup settings in safe mode, okay, what you want, guys, is you want the holy grail right here, which is this screen. You're going to click 7. And that says... Um, force a driver to install let me see if i can find a little better version of it here a little bigger version i should say um sorry you guys may be able to see that i don't know i'm running out of space here to work but let me see if i can find one here where is it yeah this is a good screen yeah right here this is good okay you're gonna see startup settings that's it you, you can you get the idea seven that's gonna reboot your machine and then do the thing it says go ahead and hit enter or whatever it does and that'll reboot your machine that's going to boot you into safe mode all right and then safe mode will allow you to go through the process again do it all again uh run zadig okay and right click run as administrator again and then go ahead and do the driver install i'll bet you anything it works at that point because this tells the computer i don't give a shit i know it's a bad uh you know bad uh, driver, I'm going to install it anyway. Okay, unsigned drivers. That's what you want. Unsigned drivers. And then that's it. Reboot your machine again. It's always good practice to do that. And then go and try to open up your SDR radio. Okay, guys. And come, you know, come back over to SDR, over to Sharp, excuse me. Uh, then you're going to need to select your source here. All right. Which is going to be RTL SDR USB. Always. That's the one you want. Tells it to go to the SDR. Uh, and then hit play. Once you hit play, uh, like you can see on mine, you should get active radio. All right. And that's what it should look like uh, once you once you have it working and working correctly. And you can come in here and set whatever frequencies you want. I've got some cool frequencies already set, like Giant Killer. This is cool. This is a military channel. Uh, that is uh, a lot of fun. I like, I like using Giant Killer. Had good luck with 118, 125. That's a good frequency. Really cool. And I know, guys, it's frustrating because you want so badly to use your radio and you can't because it sucks. <laughs> the process, the I will admit, the install process is a little bit outdated, guys. That's just the way it is, and it's, it's not good. But if you do this, I strongly believe you'll have good luck. All right? Remember, run as administrator. Uh, and then go through the safe, the safe uh, boot process, which is hold down shift and restart your machine. Again, do a restore point. 
Okay, do that right now before you do anything. Ooh, something's coming in. I wonder what that is on Giant Killer. Whoa, there it was. Do you see that? Anyway, run as administrator. Do a safe uh, restore point. Okay, safe boot. Try that. Force your machine to install. This is Windows 11, by the way. It does work on Windows 11. And that's it, guys. Now, you will need uh, .NET 5.0. So if you do this version, if you do uh, what I said um, on, uh, where is it at here? Let me go back over here. If you use um, this, uh, where is it? Dang it. I want to show you guys one more time. Here it is. This is the one you want right here, guys. Okay, right here community plugins it already has the SDR package already in it's not just plugins and that's what took me a minute to kind of get over the hump but it has sharp install it has Zadig it has it all so use this one and not not this one all right I think you'll have better luck if you do all that you guys give it a shot stay with it don't give up because uh, SDR radio is a lot of fun so enjoy it and I hope this really helps you thanks <laughs>